This is the second of a three-part video course that will show you how to configure your blueprint in Assistance PSA. This tutorial will focus on hour types and hourly rates. After its completion, you will have an understanding of the notions behind these two elements and will also be able to create them in PSA. In order to book hours in Assistance PSA, you must first configure the different hour types of your organization. Once this is done, you need to assign specific hour types to people. By doing so, the hour type will automatically appear in the time entry window of the individual's timesheet. Consequently, an employee will only have access to the hour type that will have been assigned to him or to her. And because a person can play different roles within or between different projects, you can link more than one hour type to each individual. Once you have configured your hour types, you need to define your hourly rates. Assistance PSA will let you create hourly rates per employee, per hour type, or a combination of the two. It will also allow you to create specific rates per project, per project for a specific employee, per project for a specific hour type, or a combination of the two. The cost rate here represents the direct costs per hour of an employee, the salary costs. The transfer rate represents the salary cost plus the overhead costs per hour of an employee. And the selling rate is the amount per hour that will be charged to the client. In case of an internal project, best practice will recommend to use the transfer rate and leave the selling rate at zero. This table will be used to calculate estimated hours and booked hours. It will also determine the amounts to be invoiced if the agreement is based on time and material. Because of the many options possible here, Assistance PSA will follow a specific hierarchy when determining what rate should be applied. Let's take a look at a time entry done by Peter. When PSA calculates the amount of this time record, it will go in the rate table and will first validate if a specific project rate was created for this project with this hour type. And employee Peter. If it finds it, it will then apply the rates. Project rates are considered to be exceptions to the standard rates and as such overrule them. Furthermore, PSA will always look first for the combination of these three elements as it is the best option possible and will prevail over any other one. If option one can't be found, PSA will then go to the second best option which is to find a project rate for the selected hour type. The third option will be to find a project rate for the selected employee. And the fourth option will be to find a project rate to apply systematically whatever the hour type or employee. If no specific project rates can be found, the next best option for PSA will be to look for the combination of the selected hour type and the employee. If it can't find it, it will then look for a rate defined for the selected hour type. If no rates are defined for the selected hour type, PSA will then apply the employee rates. Finally, if there are no employee rates defined, the last option for PSA will be to apply a zero rate to the entry. Now that you've seen the notions behind the creation of your hour types and hourly rates, let's take a look at how the configuration is done in Assistance PSA. First, click on Settings. And in the next screen, open the PSA Tables menu. Because your hour types are a prerequisite to your hourly rates, we will start by defining the Hour Type table. Now, hit the New button. And in the following screen, enter a description for your hour type. Leave is a parameter that will indicate if this hour type must be considered as leave or not. This field is linked to the employee record. When such an hour type is booked, it will be subtracted from the leave balance of the employee. This is not the case here. Leave the parameter at No. Now, click Save and New in order to enter another hour type. This time, enter Senior Consultant. 
Once you've created all your hour types, you will see them in the list display of your table. Your next step is to assign the hour types to your employees. Go to Assistance PSA and click CRM Users. Now, open an employee record. And in the following screen, click Related Hour Types. Hit the button Add Existing Hour Type and select the hour type related to this person. Remember, you can link more than one hour type to a single person. Once you have made your selection, click Add and hit OK. The hour types are now linked to Holly Holt. Now that you've defined your hour types and linked them to your employees, you can go ahead and create your hourly rates. The rates defined here will be used by PSA to calculate the amounts of your estimated and booked hours. They will also determine the amounts to be invoiced if the agreement is based on time and material. This is where you will create your employee rates, as well as your hour type rates. Project rates can also be defined here, but best practice is to create them when in your projects. In both cases, they will be displayed in this table. Now, before we actually create our own rates, let's take a look at the ones displayed here. Let's start with the employee rates. Best practice will recommend that you enter a cost rate and a transfer rate for each employee while leaving the selling rate blank. The hour type rates will work just about the opposite way. Best practice will be to leave the cost and transfer rates blank while entering an amount in the selling rate. As for the project rates, they can be defined according to your exact requirements. Now, let's review how the system will react when a time entry is done. If no project rates related to the entry can be found in the table, PSA will take the rates defined in the hour type, in this case the selling rate, and will then look at the employee for the cost and transfer rates. If the hour type has a cost rate, a transfer rate, and a selling rate, then these rates will overrule the ones entered at the employee level. If, for example, Mike Ray selects the hour type Senior Consultant in his timesheet, PSA will only use the rates defined in the hour type and will not look at the employee's rates. If, on the other hand, the rates are only connected to your employees and remain the same regardless of the project or the function, Best practice will be to enter all three rates, including the selling rate, for each employee. The hour types that you will then assign to your employees will not figure in this table, as no rates should be allocated to them. When a project rate is found, it automatically overrules the standard rates. Let's take a look at a very simple example to illustrate how this works. If you have established that in this particular project, April Meyer will have a specific selling rate no matter what hour type she selects, PSA will apply this rate whenever she enters her time in the project. If April books her hours as a business consultant, for example, PSA will take April's costs and transfer rate and replace the standard selling rate of the business consultant hour type with the one defined in the project. You can have more than one project rate within a single project. In such a case, PSA will follow the hierarchy described earlier on to determine what rate to apply. Let's focus now on your hour type and employee rates. Click New. The creation of your hourly rates in Assistance PSA couldn't be easier. Let's start by defining an hour type rate. Using the drop-down menu, select Project Manager and click OK. Notice the currency displayed here. It comes from the CRM Standard Currency table. We will leave it as it is. Now, enter the selling rate. Your hourly rate is completed. Click Save and New to define your next rate. This time, select an employee and enter a cost rate as well as a transfer rate. Click Save and New. You have one last rate to create. 
You want to define a daily rate for your hour type business analyst. Remember that with a daily rate, PSA will calculate a full day rate regardless of the actual number of hours booked for the specific day. Now check the box daily rate and enter an amount in the selling rate field. Click save and close. All your rates have been created and are now displayed in the table, ready to be used. In order to estimate and book hours in Assistance PSA, five simple steps must be done. Let's take a look at them one last time. First, define your hour types. Then, link these hour types to your employees. Next, define your employee rates. Best practice is to enter a cost rate and a transfer rate. And define your hour type rates. Best practice is to enter a selling rate only. Finally, create your project rates should you have any specific ones, but remember that best practice is to define them as you create your projects. You are now ready to create your own hour types and hourly rates in Assistance PSA. Your next step is to do the exercises defined in the lab Hour Types and Hourly Rates.